Once upon a funky time in the enchanted realm of hip-hop, there dwelled a fellow by the name of XX. Now, this X-Man harbored an epic grudge against someone so monumental that he did something downright legendary. He etched the name of his nemesis onto his very flesh. And who was this enigmatic figure that riled X's creative fury? Well, none other than Playboy Cardi, a die-hard aficionado of one of hip-hop's most mystical and subterranean musical collectives. Now, let me take you on a journey into the wild world of Space Ghost Perp, also known as SCP. In the year 2023, you won't find him anywhere except on Twitter, where he's probably ranting about something. But wait, SCP's story is more than just Twitter rants, my friends. Our story begins on April 1st, 1991, in Carroll City, Miami, where a young Marcus Rowley, or Space Ghost Perp, was born. He had a unique upbringing, part-time skateboarder, part-time music lover. His taste in music was like a melting pot, ranging from Memphis rap to 3-6 mafia, and even diving into rock, punk, and metal. Imagine a kid in the hood skating around with black painted nails, embracing both his love for hip-hop and alternative genres. But Marcus was no ordinary kid from Miami's rough streets. His mother had a history in rap, even rubbing shoulders with bone thugs in harmony. His father, on the other hand, was all about discipline. You could count on him to start the day with a good old morning rant. This turbulent childhood might have set the stage for Marcus's later antics. Plus, he was diagnosed with Asperger's, a type of autism. Now picture young Marcus, an outcast with his gothic attire and eclectic music taste, skating through the hood. People would laugh, saying, why are your nails painted black? His response, I'm black and I like metal. It's safe to say that this wasn't your typical hip-hop story. He once described Miami as a place where 16-year-olds saw no future, surrounded by a bleak reality. Marcus saw potential in himself and other talented kids, but felt they were held back for no reason. Music was Marcus's escape from it all. At the age of five, he started rapping after watching his friends Gaddafi and Dodo freestyle battle. He soon joined them, and the seeds of his musical journey were planted fast forward to high school and Marcus decided to pursue music more seriously. He graduated early and began releasing his creations into the world but this was no easy path. His best friend Darius tragically passed away and Marcus couldn't find a job. It was a life filled with struggle, pain, and loss which he channeled into his art. His initial releases were beats uploaded on SoundCloud under the name Money Jordan, heavily influenced by Lex Luger. But the name Space Ghost Perp was born from his DJing adventures in the neighborhood while chopping and screwing tracks. And thus, SCP emerged. He eventually formed Raider Clan in 2008, while still living in Atlanta. When he moved back to Miami, he along with Dodo the Dawn, Gaddafi, Money Jr., and his late friend Jit, officially founded Raider Clan Records. They'd soon expand their roster with talented members like Denzel Curry, Chris Travis, Eddie Baker, and Xavier Wolfe, setting the stage for a unique blend of goth culture and rap that would influence many. Raider Clan had its presence in Miami, LA, and New York, spreading their distinct sound, style, and message of youth and black talent. They even had a skate team. All of this was ahead of its time. The Blackland Radio 66.6 mixtape dropped in 2011, solidifying SCP's influence and impact. The mixtape featured recontextualized samples, dark vibes, and hieroglyphics that would become popular in underground rap. Tensions between SCP and the mob escalated. In 2012, Raider Clan dropped their first mixtape without SCP, and it flopped. SCP's popularity started to wane while others like Denzel Curry, Eddie Baker, and Chris Travis soared. The beef intensified with events like the infamous Miami show where a mob member jumped the fence to face Raider Clan. The feud played out on social media with Dicey's flying in all directions. AAP mob's success and SCP's decline marked a turning point. SCP faced a barrage of Dicey's from up-and-coming rappers, some of whom had once been his fans. 